you lot. I hope you're all well. As you might have guessed from the intro, this video is all going to be about taking the Sigma 56mm out and giving it a bit of a test in nighttime low light conditions. Just a quick one, if you're new around here, please think about liking and subscribing for more content that's similar to this. If you're older around here, you know the drill by now. I'm just gonna do a quick little intro, just tell you about what I'm gonna do this evening. But there is, you know, if you wanna to go to this time here is when the shoot will start the main bit of the video if you wanna skip my bit. But yeah, so. Just to summarise really, I was planning on doing this video down South End Seafront because I thought that would be cool, you know, all the arcades in the background and stuff, give us some nice bokeh, all that kind of stuff. But with the position that we're all in at the minute, obviously all the car parks are closed down there, all the arcades are shut anyway, there's not a lot going on down there, which probably would make for some quite good photos actually in the daytime, but not so much great for the low light test that I had in mind. So, me and Tia just did our thing. We just went for a little walk around the lo little local area where we live. You know, we've got a little parade of shops quite nearby. So we just done the usual kind of thing. We just went out for an hour for a little stroll and I used anything that I could. I used some street lights, lights from shops, and some of the results I think come out really well. My preset, I don't, I'm gonna blow my own trumpet here a little bit, but there's a couple of my presets, the teal and orange one and the urban green one, which really did work a treat on these. They, I thought they come out really nice, except for, to be honest, like um, like the, the shots that I took of Tia underneath street lights and stuff, especially the halogen ones. I think it's halogen. Because we've got we're a bit of a mix around here. We've got some of the LED lights, some street lights are the old school kind of yellow ones. So under those yellowy ones, that just kind of bleaches all the color out. So there's not really much color to play around with in post because everything, it's like there's just an, obviously like a, an orange yellow filter over the whole image. However, when I sort of could get T in here to a shop light, any other kind of more of a white light, that's when I could sort of play with the colours more and my, and my presets were, were working far better. So yeah, a little plug for my presets there. Go and buy them, they're amazing, obviously. Just to quickly touch on my camera settings, I've not put all the settings on the images. I know you guys do like that, but it does take me ages. But I'll just sort of briefly, I'll tell you about how I set the camera up, which is how I usually do it. I was set at f1.4 for 99% of the pictures that kind of stays as is. Shutter speed, I was down obviously far lower than what I normally am, because obviously it's night time. I was down to, I think like a 50th of a second, a 60th of a second. I didn't want to go too low because of, you know, I didn't want to sort of get any sort of motion blur and stuff with Tia. The one that I'm left with then was the ISO. So if it was really dark, some of the ones underneath the street lights were really quite dark. I'd then have to bite the bullet and, you know, I don't like putting the ISO up because obviously that's what's going to introduce noise. But then I'd, I'd, I'd raise the ISO to get the exposure that I wanted. To be honest, a lot of the shots, you know, where I could get Tia close enough to a light, to a um, either like one of the white LED street lights, lights outside of a shop, anything like that, that really did illuminate like sort of really well and I could bring the ISO right down again. So they were sort of come out really nice and clean. All the images come out pretty clean to be honest because the, the Sony camera works pretty well even when you do raise that ISO level up. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of waffling now a little bit. I think I should probably stop and just let you watch the video. So uh, yeah. I'll see you again in the next one and hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Just stand almost lean up against the window there, yeah. Actually, do you know what? It looks cool with the green lights in the background. Let's just try some. Yeah, or or kneel, no, kneeling down by the puddle. cool with the car lights at least in the background let's maybe try we'll just walk around walk around this little circuit and then we'll go over there yeah let's try oh it's a shame i thought the no ball games one at the time was lower i thought it'd be quite cool to get that in the background so i'm just gonna get this car
thing would be cool. Like leaning up against it, just wait for it. I think she's going to take something in there. No. Right, let's grab a quick couple of snaps up against that. Um, yeah, don't really want to see the screen. Hold on. Try looking up a little bit. Look up a bit higher. That's it. Let's go and and get a couple of bit chippy, yeah. Oh, don't park right in front of it. Is that my photographer mate in there, isn't it, I think? I kind of get a couple of snaps of him in there because then I could send them to him, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get him. Nah. Has he spotted us yet? <laughs> 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 what can we try? Oh, you could stand up against the glass, actually, couldn't you? Right, try, I'll just try taking a couple of steps back just so I'll get more light on your face. That's it, just so you ain't got the poster right. That's it. Do you know what? Yeah, if you stand a bit further, I'm just thinking if I can shoot along. Yeah, that looks good to you. Got one looking up towards. Try standing actually with your, your back. Oh yeah, back right to the wall. Sort of, that's, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Even more up. That's it, yeah. Right, hold that. And kind of, that's it, try and center your head from, yeah, that's it. That's sort of perfectly centered. try and get this light in it as well so it's kind of so the brickwork's kind of leading down to you if I can and looking up again oh oh the volume things so if I get you yeah that's yeah if you go that side maybe so hold on if I get oh yeah yeah just holds up a sliver of light on your eye yeah, you're in prison and this Move your head that way a little bit, just that's it. What about if you stay if I go that side, you stand there in the light. And looking up again a little bit. Lean up against that, or yeah, lean up against that white thing there, maybe. Right, 
might just try and one standing the other, like the other side of the post so that you've got a bit more light on you. That's it, and try one looking up to the light. <laughs> You're making dizzy. And look a bit, can you look? Yeah, you want to look right up. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that actually looks. Right, I'll maybe look up to it. Oh yeah, just try one standing there, so I'll get the sort of more straight road behind you. Right, ready? That looks actually, I'll tell you what, yeah, try what you were just doing there. Were you almost standing that way, but sort of looking back? Right, yeah, we head back to it. 